Hi, I'm Maria Palazzola, Director of Golf for Tower T Golf and Recreation. And I'm down here at our short game practice area, which is just phenomenal. One of the best features out here is we've got three white sand bunkers, and it's great sand. I call this tour sand, just like you see at the good golf courses where the tournaments are. One thing I wanted to talk about is your equipment and how it's built to deal with sand. So when you look at a sand wedge, it's different from all of your other clubs in your bag because it's got what we call bounce. And so what that is, is when you're looking at your club from that angle, from your angle, this back edge sits up higher than the leading edge. This back edge is what we call the bounce edge. And it's designed to do exactly that. It's gonna bounce off or bounce through the sand and it's gonna prevent my club from digging. So that's why a sand wedge is also a great choice if you're hitting out of a questionable lie, like say a creek bed or a hazard, and you don't want your club to get caught down in there. So an easy way to remember this is I tell my students, if you think of the back edge as the skidder and the front edge as the digger. So when do I want to skid and when do I want to dig? Well, on soft, fluffy, dry sand, a lot of the sand you get down in Florida and such, you don't want to get caught up in that. And, and take too much sand. You want to skid through it. So we're going to utilize the back edge more, the bounce edge. But if I'm on wet sand or hard pan or even like gravelly river type sand, I'm going to need a little bit of dig. So I'm going to use the front edge. So here's how it works. If I need that dig, if I'm in wet hard sand, like I said, I'm going to set the club face down more square. But if I want to utilize the bounce, I'm going to open the face. And the more I open the face, the more I increase the bounce. So my bounce might, or my club might have 10 degrees of bounce built into it. Sometimes that's written on the, the club and it's usually a little more than what it says. But the more I open it, I'm increasing. I might be going from 10 to 18 degrees of bounce, depending how much I open it. So I always tell my students, lay the face open first and then grip the club. Don't, don't grip the club and contort yourself or twist your arms to get the face open. So lay it open, then grip it, utilize that back part of the club to help you bounce and cut through the sand. So give that a try and see if it doesn't help your game. I'm going to go ahead and try a couple shots here real quick. So help me cut right through it. As easy as can be, this is a fantastic place here to improve your bunker play.